Fortunately, I had had some experience as a program I came from. I had started that, so I had a little bit of a baseline. Um, you know, it, it's like watching your kids grow up. Um, you know, that first year, just having those guys, knowing the challenges that they may face uh, and watching them grow um, was really exciting um, and very rewarding, right? And to watch the program grow over the last 10 years, uh, extremely rewarding. Um, not just the guys in the program, but also the alums who, and who come back. You know, you, when you start, you present you know, the opportunity to come play in a great conference at an athletic school and college. Um, and you, know, you, you give those guys the opportunity to really make history. Uh, from there, you, know, you, you hope you can find things that you can sell and market. Uh, certainly the year one class did a great job of, of getting the program off the ground and, and making it competitive and then as coaches it's our goal to go out and try to find better and better players every year, right? And so we've been very fortunate to do that. I've had some really good assistants over the past 10 years that have really bought into what we're trying to do and, and really worked hard to get those guys here. There's a couple of them. Um, you know, I think the, the first game. Right, just the anticipation and the excitement uh, of playing Transylvania. Um, you know, that first game for both programs. Uh, that was exciting and, and the build up to that and, and that's something I'll always remember. I think that same year, you know, beating Shenandoah for the first conference win, you know, and, and that can't be understated because the conference is so strong. Uh, and those guys were able to, you know, get a conference win. Um, I think, you know, the 2016 team, and we, we beat Virginia Wesleyan on the road, uh, that was one of the first times that we'd beaten one of the upper echelon teams, uh, and to come back from four goals down was exciting. Um, I think 2018, the Guilford game, uh, that our guys came out, and I think they were 8-2, and two, I think, coming into it, we were 6-2, and 8-2, and two, something like that. Um, and that was just an exciting game because that really kind of put us in a playoff kind of mentality. Certainly, 2019 Hampton Sydney was was a, a program great, um, you know, beating one of the traditional four. And then last year, you know, beating Roto for the program's first playoff win. Um, those games all stand out. I'd like to say one carries more weight than the other, and certain days they do. But those are all really, really meaningful games. I think like that whole first class, I, when I was thinking about this, you know, that whole first class, I kind of embody as, uh, you know, uh, one person, one group, right? And just each of them committing to something unknown and coming here and working hard and really springboarding the program. Uh, all those guys are special and, and to watch them now, you know, in their lives uh, is equally if not more special. Um, certainly, you know, guys like Jake Truman and Chris Voorhees and John McLeish, Blake Mann, you know, uh, those guys all, all really stand out from kind of the middle years. Um, you know, and then last year's class, you know, had, a, had just a plethora of guys too. I mean, Eric Hustleball, the program's first All-American, Mason Gaunt, um, Jared Marley, four-year starter. You know, there are a lot of guys I could name here that you probably don't want to hear. So, uh, you know, if I don't name them, doesn't mean they're any less special, but, you know, we've been very fortunate to have some really great players, uh, you know, throughout the first nine years. Hopefully, we continue to, to build, right? And, you know, we've always kind of said, you know, we try to do something new every year and get better every year. And, and you know, last year, you know, we got our first playoff win. Um, you know, at some point, you know, that's going to level out. Um, but, you know, I think that's the beautiful thing about sports is every year is a new year. New team presents new challenges and new opportunities. Uh, we're getting great kids here at Bridgewater. We've got a very passionate group about lacrosse. Um, I'm excited to watch them continue to compete and continue to establish themselves as a contender in the ODAC. Very blessed to be sitting here and, and certainly looking forward to the upcoming season.